This is Harry Jump for Boxing Social in partnership with Empire Fight Store. Busy Gallagher Gym here, Monday morning. I am joined by Colin McGowan. It's a tough, tough session today. You've just told me you put on your work stuff. From this, you're going straight to work to rip out a house in, sh in sale. In hail, sorry. Is that, that, that's the way boxing, the glamorous job of boxing, isn't it? Uh, yeah, that, that, that's, 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 that's my life anyway, but uh, it's not all doom and gloom. I, I like my life. At the end of the day, um, whether I was earning millions per fight or anything, what would have been what would have been doing in between training sessions, whether it's doing meetings or or some other sort of business adventure, it's all work in it. So you know, I get to work with my mates and uh, my boss is great. So yeah, that's another big start to the year out February tenth. You know, this time last year, it was the fight with Sergio Martinez. I mean, you know, looking back only a year ago, it's it's been to how things. Yeah, you know, it differs between this year and last year. Yeah, of course, if I won that fight, I would have went on to bigger and better things, but I didn't, and I had to go back to the drawing board and regroup, and, you know, I'm just staying consistent, trying to keep winning, really. You know, I've had that year of, like, making a joke about, yeah, I boxed Sergio Martinez, but, you know, it's over now. Uh, the past is no longer my concern. I'll just keep cracking on, take the lesson from that fight and, and move on. But, uh, yeah, forget that Sergio Martinez. I'm sick of fucking talking about it now. I'm doing my head in. I won't mention it again. I had to say that as it's like a year, a year from sort of around this time. I was going to share memories on Facebook and that, and I thought, you know what, nah, you know what, it's done, fuck it. <laughs> Lived up it too long. But look, you know, um, this year, um, you know, active, especially last year, this year, as active we hope, you know, are you looking this year for a title eliminator or a title fight? Is it either those two? Yeah, I want I want English titles and, you know, towards the back and then be looking at a, a British, you know, that's me aiming boxing. I'm not here to be an idiot and be funny and take, take just like be taken as an opponent. I'm I'm, I'm the fucking real McCoy, man. <laughs> no, I'm not, but on my day, I'm a, I'm a good fighter and I can I can mix it with anyone. So I'm looking to test myself and, you know, beat, beat the, the champions, English titles and, you know, head towards the British. You mentioned the, you know, take yourself seriously. Do you believe you're not taken seriously? in this game? No, I just think a few years back when I was, I was going through a lot and I took them silly fights, it was a bit of a joke of work and, you know, I, I can have a laugh and, you know, like say on Twitter and stuff, I can be like, yeah, I boxed Sergio Martinez, like, is that the be all and end all? I've got, I've got bigger ambitions in boxing, not for anyone else but myself, you know. Um, I got into this game because I loved it and I still love it now and I want to prove myself right that, you know, I can win a British title and, and beyond, so that's what I'm aiming for. You're old school though, you know, you, it, I think this gym's old school as well, it's, um, you know, even though, I mean, you've got a fight date, but Jose Burton, for example, hasn't got a fight date, he's in the gym today, he said to me upstairs, look, my fight can get called within a split second, you know, you're fighting such and such, or you have an opponent in such and such weeks, are you ready? You know, you're very much of that old school where you're always in the gym, you take fights whenever they come available, I mean, as well, look at what you're, you know, you're still working, you're still boxing, you're very old school in what you do, so... I think perhaps you give yourself a bit of a hard time there saying, oh, a bit of a joke, all of it, because, you know, you, I know Sergio Martinez was a big fight, but it's something to be proud of. But, um, you know, title eliminator and English title, British title, I think that's a good step this year, yeah? 100%, yeah, that's what, that's what I want. That's what, that's what motivates me. That's what I get excited about. So, yeah, definitely down that route. You know, like I say, for, for, for myself, you know, I am old school. I pride myself on being, like, an honest fighter. You know, I, I know I'm a joker and that, but I pride myself on being honest, like... You know, that's how I was brought up. Like, you know, you see the, the pr professionals of yesteryear, you know, they, they grafted, they, they worked, and, you know, they, they, it's a fight at the end of the day. You're going for a fight. I'm not here to train and go for a pedicure and manicure and all that. I'm, I'm a fucking bloke, aren't I? So, go and work. You know, the money doesn't pay for, for my family. I go and work for my family, so they're taking care of. I'm not, I'm not letting boxing affect my family, so I go and work for them. Whereas boxing's my passion and what I do, and don't get me wrong, um, when the good times come, my family enjoy it as well, but... You know, I'm not being skint in myself because, you know, it's my dream and some selfish yeah. reality. When I've got kids, kids are the most important thing to me. So I go to work for them and the boxing, you know, for me, from Seoul, keep, keep me on it. So. Yeah, exactly. I mean, like you said, there's many opportunities that come around. I mean, one fight that w was spoken about perhaps was, you know, the English title route, British title route. You said you've got bigger dreams in, in, in sport. What, yeah, can you explain that a little bit more? No, no, like, the, the army dreams, like, a British title. I'm just saying, like... I've got bigger dreams than being like, oh, you know, yeah, he put up a good fight, he did okay. No, no, I'm, I'm, I'm a winner and, you know, I've got a family that I want, I want to be proud of. Me. I want to be proud of myself, you know, and so that's that. I'm, I'm, 
I'm the same kid that I was when I was eight and I I got in there. So, you know, when you was an amateur, you turned up at shows and you didn't care who was watching, you didn't care what was going on. You won and you went home with that win for yourself and that was it. You was like, didn't matter if any, no one watched it. As long as you won that fight, you got that win, didn't you? And, you know, that's, that's, that's how I am now. I, I just I do it for myself. So. Um, Sam Gilly holds the English title. I think that's been a fight that's been spoken about before. That's a huge, huge fight. Um, again, you know, obviously you are targeting that, but explain to me how big that fight is, mate. Love to fight Sam Gilly. Yeah, of course, he's the English champion at the Super Welter. He's actually looking really good uh, since he's come up to the weight. Um, he's a good fighter, and I think definitely big fireworks that fight. Like, he's, he fucking loves getting into war, and he bangs him out, and, you know, I'm not shy from a war myself, so... That'd be a great fight, of course it would be. You know, I think he's a bit like myself, so yeah, let's, I'd fight Sam Gilly, yeah, let's get on. <laughs> you are old school, I mean, you know, I can't keep mentioning it, but you know, the sport has changed. It's changed some for the better, you look at the female game, and then some for, for the lesser. You look at the, the, the evolution of the YouTube stuff, and you look at the money within boxing, you know more than anyone. The money is in the top tier, and it's hard for it to be trickled down. In terms of that YouTube stuff and in terms of the stuff we saw at the weekend with Tommy Fury and Jake Paul in the ring before what was you know, a, a huge fight, you know, biggest fight of, of this year so far in Preserve and at the Yard. In terms of YouTube boxing, are you for, against it? What's your stance on it? I haven't, um, I'm not really really bothered. I like it. I'll be watching it. I'll be paying for it. It's as simple as that. I'm, I, I don't mind Tommy Fury, to be honest. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to pay for it next month, like, regardless. Unless I can get a dodgy box. But uh, no, I will be. In terms of maybe the, the timing of it was a bit sour, you know, before like one of the biggest fights in such a professional and such a fighter, one of the best fighters we've got in Bertie Ever. Well, not we've got, but, you know, in boxing, Bertie Ever and stuff. So... You know, to put them before that fight was a bit was a bit strange, but listen, let them do the thing. You know, if they no matter the thing is, we get better because we're boxers. But their YouTube has got massive following. If they wanted to go into singing, I was assuming KSF. If they wanted to go in anything, they'd make be at the top tier, make money because they've got the viewing power. But you know, I'm I'm a boxer because it's just what I am. You know what I mean? I'm not a YouTuber who's got into boxing trying to make money. I'm just a flipping boxer, and that's the end of it. So yeah, let them, let them crack on. Not not bothered. Um, finally, what can fans expect February 10th? Give us a lowdown. Fireworks, carnage, what can they expect, mate? Give me it. Hey, I, I, lo I love to speak it up. I love to speak it up, but I tell you, it's going to be sort of fight for the ages, but uh, I'm, uh, I'm going to win. Simple as that. I'm going to win and I'm going to look good doing so.